today I will be reviewing um, this uh, watercolor stick from Pentel. Um, it's called the Vis Vis Vistage. Vistage. Um, I got this uh, set, the Steve 2 sets from uh, Tokyo Hands. I saw this set and they are so cute. Look at the colors. Actually, there were three sets. Um, so I think there's, this is uh, Antique Mix. And this is sweet mix, and that's actually a classic mix. But I thought the classic mix colors were really um, just pretty normal, so I, I didn't buy the buy that that set. This one, is quite... um, yeah. So what's interesting about this set is that, and it's supposed to be watercolor uh, crayon sticks. Uh, this is made in Japan. So it writes here, it's made in Japan. And um, yeah, it comes in a little cute. Uh, just open up the uh, antique mix. So this is how it looks like inside. There, there's a water brush. So this water brush, um, yeah, it's the same. I mean, it's fine tip, right? And you can, um, this is where you put in the uh, water. And you can bring this around, so it's pretty handy. So it's like a, I would say um, it's like a portable set, something that you can bring. So it comes with like a little cute, um, you know, um, bottle, look a light container. Uh, I think there's still some space here. So they actually put in a, a packaging material, but actually I believe you can still put in like at least four sticks and maybe a short pencil if you want and maybe a eraser. So we can really just bring this out um, pretty handy. So let's examine a, the uh, watercolor sticks in, in more details. So uh, each of these, um, there are 12 sticks, and each of these sticks measures uh, 10, se 10 centimeter by I think about 0 0.7 centimeter. So um, it's protected by this um, piece of paper that goes around it, and the tip is uh, tapered. So um, yeah, it's not fine tip, but the edges did help to uh, when you uh, when you put in the colors. Actually, I've actually swatched them, the uh, antique mix, and the uh, sweet mix. So in fact, I have already. I also included some of these um, pen. This is um, actually done with a, a technical pen, which is waterproof. It's for drawing. And when I apply water to it, um, it it will not smudge so um, these are the 12 colors uh, for the antique mix uh, I, I think the antique mix um, you do get more brown like here you do can you see like a uh, maybe half of the colors um, they are like brownish um, beige colors and um, they are kind of like um, the earthy tone and good for things like um, whimsical with that woodland kind of uh, drawing and for the sweet sweet mix um, you really get like a rainbow color so I would suggest for for start um, if you really want to use this for art and craft uh, I would suggest getting the sweet mix because it has all these different colors and it has really a very dark tone the cafe ole brown and even have the yellow here, the Mimosa bright yellow. So these colors are really sweet and cute. This is probably a more muted color range and more earthy, not for everybody. So now what I'll do is um, using the water brush that was uh, that's uh, that came together with the set. I'm gonna uh, you know try to swatch this uh, with water. So I think the trick to this is not to use too much water. So if you realize that um, from the way I paint, it's not exactly um, very easy to dissolve this. You really do need to work a little, like you need to like um, scratch the surface a little. But I like how it actually dissolves and um, blends. So the color would always be lighter than how it looks like as a 
crayon or as a solid form. Okay, now I'm just gonna squeeze a little from my barrel. It doesn't need to be too um, wet because if it's too wet, your colors will all, your water will, you can't really control the mixing very well. So if you realize I'm going in a circular motion because I'm trying to dissolve trying to dissolve the uh, pigment that has settled in the um, grains of the paper. So um, this is like a crayon form, so you realize that the pigments are actually deposited in the uh, grains. So it would be uh, quite good to, to, you know, if you do not want to see any um, granulation or texture, it would be good to um, use a very uh, smooth paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish um, all these and we shall compare the colors. So here's a swatch. So given the um, portability of the set, and also um, how good the colors are. I see great potential um, of them being used um, for journaling or for um, using it um, for uh, using it on a journal paper or, or for, for bullet journal, for example. Um, so I, I have with me this uh, Rhodia um, web notebook. Um, the paper is very smooth. Um, but it's kind of thin, so when I try to use the um, technical pen um, for drawing at um, 0 0.5 um, nit, um, there's some bleeding on the other side. So uh, I'm just going to try to color this to see uh, whether we get any whopping and um, if we get any bleeding to the other side. I think the trick to this is to use as little water as you can. So let's try um, do the blending again. For the leaves. Can I even transfer some of this color over? So what I meant here is that it should be wet, but not too wet until you see droplets of water uh, on the surface of your hand. So it should feel a bit moist. So that's the correct amount of water to use. So it's done. There's some, a little bit of bleeding at the back, but it's not that serious. So I'll be trying it, this out on a professional watercolor paper. Yeah, just a short note about the. Um, uh, water brush. So um, uh, after two paintings, um, the water brush uh, has finally split. Um, yeah. So what you see here is a painting that I've done. Uh, it's a line, line and a wash and um, yeah. And it's done with um, combining two sets together uh, onto this piece. So the paper that I've used is um, the 100% uh, cotton uh, watercolor paper from Ferbiano. So um, this is how it looks like. So you see that, um, you know, you, you do, I, I'm able to get some of these like um, very soft look. Um, but, you know, um, all these texture can still be seen. So um, even though I can try really hard scratching the surface, um, that um, pigment would get stuck in the grains and um, giving rise to all these textures. Um, 
I mean, it looks fine. The colour's really a little bit um, opaque, you know, you can see from the washing. And, um, but I will not be doing this. Um, I think it's still easier to use the uh, tubes because I can, you know, normally for this, I think it probably maybe take will take me about 10 minutes or, or even shorter to, to complete this piece. Um, but by using the crayon, because you need to know like the crayon, the stick, um, the tip is not so big. So, you know, you have to cover all the surface. So this whole thing took me about 40 minutes. So, no, not just the lines, you know. Just adding the colour took me 40 minutes. Um, nice, nice, interesting to try it, to have, you know, to, to, to try something different. But I don't suggest doing this for urban sketching. Um, because it's going to take you so long. Unless your piece is like really small. Yeah? Um, yep. So, um, I would suggest people using the set, um, the watercolour sticks. Uh, on um, journaling uh, or drawing a um, more illustration based kind of uh, uh, drawing all right so um, that's it for the uh, review um, if you have any more questions um, yeah feel free to um, put it down in the comment and um, I, I will give you I will answer it for you